In this video, I'll be going over how to use scripts or code in Adobe Illustrator um, to create some interesting patterns um, and to use things like randomness um, to affect rotation, uh, color, um, size, and other, and other um, attributes uh, of shapes that you create. It's a really quick um, and intuitive way to work with uh, pattern making or code uh, because it's visual and you can see what's happening. I'm going to grab some scripts from GitHub and I'll leave the link to this uh, in the description of the video. Uh, the way to download this, uh, you can cl uh, click on this code button and hit download the zip uh, and that should download it into your downloads folder. Now that I've downloaded the files, I'm going to grab these, uh, and this is a fold, the unzip folder of those files I downloaded. Um, in the Adobe Illustrator folder, um, you'll go into presets and scripts, and you should be able to see uh, scripts here. Uh, I have another folder that I've imported of other scripts. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is drag uh, this folder into the scripts folder. Um, maybe I'll label it something different. I'll just call it. Uh, scripts I'll call it scripts too just because uh, I want to have a distinction between these two um, and I'll just drag that into here uh, I should ask for my password um, and now these are going to be accessible in Illustrator I need to restart Illustrator to get them but once I do that I'll show you how to start using them okay in a new Adobe Illustrator file I'm going to um, start making a pattern with scripts. Uh, this is a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel artboard. Let me make a rectangle that's 100 by 100. Uh, I'll use that to kind of make a grid. So actually this is a square. Let's just put that up in the corner. Um, we'll run the scripts from here. Scripts, uh, I'll go into the scripts two folder that I created earlier and I'll do a 10 by 10 grid. So that should fit inside of here. So actually, you know, what it did is it um, it made a copy or and kind of made the grid on this side. So I'll just, uh, with my direct select tool, delete this piece, uh, bring it over into here and just snap it into place. Okay, so I have a pattern right now and I'm gonna run some more scripts uh, to play around with this and see what I can do. So I could um, play around with the random rotate here uh, the minimum will set to zero and the maximum, let's just say 360. So let's see where it goes. So it randomly rotated these around. Uh, let's select them all again and let's run another script. Maybe we'll do a random resize uh, from 0% uh, to, let's say 200, twice as big. Um, and you can see that really resize things. And so I'm starting to make some random things happen here. Um, what else can we do with these scripts? All right, so now we'll go and use a script to color these in randomly. So what I, uh, what I did is I expanded my swatches by going show all swatches. Um, and I'm gonna select a bunch of different colors uh, and I'll also select, whoops, I should select these and then let me make sure I understand uh, what's happening here. So I'll select all the colors and select uh, the objects and then I'll run the scripts called random swatches fill. And that is going to take those swatches that I picked and randomly color them like this. If I wanted, let's say, like only these kind of like greenish colors, I could just select those. Um, Oops, it's a little bit. Uh, I think you should select the objects first, then select the swatches, and then uh, go into your random script, swatches fill, and then you get this kind of coloring. And I think you could add swatches to this and, uh, and do more. I wonder if I could even, I bet I could do this. Can I do it with a gradient swatch? And yeah, I can. So that's that's pretty fun. Um, what else? What else could I do here? Um, 
let me let me color different uh, different colors again. So uh, hopefully you can see this is super fast. Um, I'll run another script that's like random opacity from zero to 100. And then you get this kind of look. Uh, and so there's a lot of things you can do with this. Again, um, I just turned the uh, strokes off, but um, you can go into uh, Illustrator now and hopefully like this is maybe more intuitive than writing the code, but there is code behind all of this. Um, I've just opened up uh, that 10 by 10 grid script to show you that this is the code that's being run and this is uh, in JavaScript, but there are four loops here, if you're familiar with that. Um, and the, you know, there's some terms here, but hopefully you can see that under, um, underneath all of the, you know, the tools uh, that we use, there's a lot of code um, behind everything driving it. And you can still um, do a lot of creative things, um, even if you're not aware of the code itself. Um, so it's good to know. So hopefully you have fun with this and um, you know you, you can do things that are maybe a little bit harder to do in, in processing. Uh, for example, using some of these shapes that already exist. Um, oh, it looks like this code had some interesting other bits in it. Uh, and actually, if I look at the code again, there is this bit here that will randomly rotate uh, the object in increments of 90 degrees. That's what's happening over here. So. That's why I'm getting sort of um, an irregularly uh, rotated pattern, but I kind of like the look of it. Uh, you know, sometimes you're playing with uh, the code and you know, there's some interesting overlaps and in shapes in here, um, but you can do a lot of things with this just by running a few scripts. Uh, let's rotate them again, see where that goes. Resizing, I think, is helpful. Give you some more options. And then, again, um, I'm going to randomly color them. So I'll select the fill, uh, go to my swatches, and select a bunch. And I hope this has been helpful for you to understand how to start using scripts in Illustrator. Uh, again, it's a powerful tool. Uh, and I just hope you have a lot of fun with it.